Hello, so what is a light year? That's what we're going to look at today. It's a measurement we as astronomers know well. From really distant objects like Andromeda Galaxy that's over 2 million light years away, and we know that that is a long, long way away, to our nearest neighbour, Proxima Centauri, which is just over 4 light years away. And that's nearby, right? Well, no, actually it's not. Before I properly get started on looking what a light year is, it would help me no end if you find this video useful. If you could give me a like, that would be brilliant. And if you get something out of this and you want a bit more information on astronomy, then please feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can hear more from me when I release new videos. Thank you. So no then, the light year is not the cosy little measurement that you think it is. Let's think about what a light year is. Now, despite what the name suggests, it's not a measure of time. It is actually a measure of distance. And quite simply, the name gives it away. How far does light travel in a year? Now, you probably already know that light covers a tremendous distance very, very quickly. So about 300,000 kilometers per second or 186-ish thousand miles per second. And we know there are a lot of seconds in a year about 31.5 million of them in fact. So over the course of one year light travels about 5.9 trillion miles which is about 9.5 trillion kilometers. That is an incredibly long way but it's very hard to get our heads around what actually is a trillion. It's a difficult number to understand in human terms so we have to try and think about it other ways just to bring home the mind-boggling nature of this distance. Let's put ourselves in a jet. If we fly, so I'm over in the UK, if I fly over to North America, 600-ish miles an hour, that can take five, six, seven, eight mile hours, depending on whereabouts in the country I'm traveling to. At 600 miles an hour, however, to cover the distance that light travels in a year, you would need about 1.1 million years. That's how tremendous a distance this is. Let's put it another way. Let's shrink our sun, our gigantic sun. Let's shrink it down to the size of a golf ball, maybe a little bit bigger, a golf ball. Now on that scale, Earth would just be 0.4 millimeters across, the size of a small grain of sand. And it would be about 15 feet away from the golf ball sized sun. How far away is a light year from our golf ball sun and our 15 feet away grain of sand earth? On that very same scale, a light year is 180 miles. It is truly staggering to try and conceive of just what a distance it is. And that doesn't bring us anywhere close to our nearest star. Our nearest star, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is Proxima Centauri. That's about 4.2 light years away. So on that same scale, our golf ball sized sun and 15 feet away, we've got this speck of Earth and 180 miles is one light year. Well, Proxima Centauri would be over 750 miles away. And that is some distance for us to cover. Now, how close have we as a human race come to covering a light year? Well, you probably also know that the furthest man-made object away from us is a small satellite called Voyager 1. It was launched in 1977, which is about 47 years ago as I record this video. It was designed to visit Jupiter and Saturn, look at the rings of Saturn and the larger moons of both planets, and it long since left them behind. And it's been traveling ever since. And right now it's doing about 38,000 miles per hour through outer space. Which means it's traveling about 900,000 miles per day. And as I said, it's been going almost half a century. Well, even with those amazing statistics under its belt, Voyager 1 is just 22 and a half light hours away from Earth. It's not even a light day away from us yet, let alone a light year. 
And in fact, it's about a thousand days away from becoming one light day away. It's got three years, just under three years of traveling at almost a million miles a day before it will be one light day away from us. Now, in terms that we can understand, that's about 15.2 billion miles. And I've put a link below this video where you can look at the NASA website and see pretty much in real time just how far away both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 probes are from us. And just watch the distance ticking every second, a few miles every second, and consider the vastness of space knowing that it's going to take another three years before they're far enough away that light or the signal from them will take a day to get to us. And what does that mean in terms of interstellar travel? I guess technically Voyager 1 now is interstellar traveling, but if it were heading towards Proxima Centauri, which again, we said is 4.2 light years away, it's about one light day away, we'll give it that. To get to our nearest star, we'll take it in the region of 75,000 years. So you and I aren't gonna be alive to see it make that achievement. And what would happen if we traveled at a faster speed than that? Well, the fastest speed that a human made object has ever achieved was that by the Parker Solar Probe. It's designed to study the sun, and at its fastest, when it's close to the sun, it travels at a staggering 430,000 miles per hour. That is in the order of 10 or 11 times faster than Voyager 1 is traveling outer space at the moment. Now, if we could travel at that speed in outer space, it would take us only 1,500 years to cover the distance of one light year. So you can see it's going to be quite some time before we're traveling anywhere near fast enough to think of escaping Earth in spaceships and making it to the nearest exoplanet. And I guess all of this just goes to show what a staggeringly large place the universe is. I've only spoken about one light year and four light years as we're traveling to Proxima Centauri. And of course there are stars hundreds and thousands of light years away within our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which is about 100,000 light years across. And then we've got more galaxies outside, one of which we mentioned earlier, Andromeda, which is over 2 million light years away. So you think it would take us 1 million years to travel one light year in an aeroplane. Imagine how long it takes us to travel 2 million light years in an aeroplane. Not something you or I are going to see in this lifetime. Anyway, I hope you find that as mind-blowing as I did. If you would like any more information about light years and how astronomers use them for measuring distance, then click on the link below this video and check out Love the Night Sky. It would be great to see you over there. But for now, take care and clear skies.